Hey guys, Seventh Beast here. We're back for another NBA 2K21 of the NBA Playoffs. As right now, the Mavericks and the Clippers. The Clippers are in the lead, 3-2, and we're expecting to see the good one. If the Clippers win the game, they are heading to the next round to face against the Utah Jazz. If they don't, and the Mavericks win, we will have to send a sudden death round in Game 7. Can the Clippers win it all? Let's see what happens here if they can pass it for this first round to the second round. Finding out to play against Utah Jazz. And the only game winner we had was Phoenix Suns. A play on this one was just like no other. And that was just amazing to just check out the Phoenix Suns record. And now they'll be playing against Portland Trailblazers on the next run. So I'll go ahead and start this one off to have a look on that one. If you've been in the rec recently, so, you may if have you're looking for the episode 42 2K TV versus the world of LD 2K debut, don't even try to uh, recommend it that one. Everything we just see here so far is just like on the buddy. Never really edit in the loss. Did we really ever lose? All right. Well, we'll see. I know you guys are thinking about it, but this is what everybody was thinking. It's another installment. But there's more to get this on the way, so it's time for us to bring it on in LA. Let's start off with Dallas Mavericks, of course. Add count, point forward, number 42, Maxi Cleaver. Add Simon forward, number 10, Jordan Finney Smith. As shooting guard, small forward, Tim Hardaway Jr., number 11. At center, number 6, Chris Alps Porzingis. And point guard, number 11, number 77, Luka Doncic. Your head coach for the Dallas Mavericks. All right, Clippers fans, it's time to make some noise. Here are your starting lineups. Out point guard, 61 inches, number 21, Patrick Beverly. The big man. Seven six silver inches, number forty, Evika Zubox. Our most all power forward position is six foot eight, number eight, Marcus Morris. And the other guard position is six foot eight, number thirteen, Paul George. At the other four position, at six foot six inches, number two, oh, I the call, Leonard. And your head coach for the Los Angeles Clippers, Tyrone Lou. 
Coming your LA Clippers. A lot of broadcasting out there. The city's still on fire. And right now, we brought everything back where it belonged. We've got David Aldridge on the sideline. So let's check it out. Good evening, Kevin. Well, last season, Paul George had a homecoming. He said, as a kid, I pictured playing in L.A. My parents being able to watch me at Staples. I'm not playing for the Clippers. This is home. I'm playing for the home team. It doesn't get any better than that. And Kevin, his family is backing him up. They show up to every game here. What a story. David what a story this turned out here. Thank you, DA. And now starting in line, we are on the board here. Key matchups, Patrick Beverly against Luka Doncic. Point guard positions on a small forward in the action here between the uh, between the two guys of, uh, of those two, Morris Senior and the other guy. Uh, what do you call that one here? Uh, Dorian Vinny Smith. Rick Carlson, Marisol is his head coach for the Dallas Mavericks and Tyrone Blue for LA Clippers. Here we go, game six. We're ready to see who will take the win and head against Utah Jazz. And the Clippers have won the tip off here. Let's get going. Morris Senior finds Leonard. The first three pointer will hit from outside. First three pointer for Leonard. Grant Berry, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Harlan. My nice commentators. Uh, Hardaway Jr. got that three. He got that tied up now. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Wayne. Paul George in the other way. Finds Morris Sr. Right now it's a shootout. Morris. Going over is Leonard. Leonard tries forward. A claw handles the rim. Pass available there for Paul George, but he spots that small crease. He fires the ball through it, and he gets it to his open man. Now here's Luka Doncic. He only scored out his last timing in game five. After he put up a loss against the Clippers. Now back to Doncic, and he will take the first one with a miss, but he will take it back in. And I have a classic jerseys up there for the uh, for Dallas Mavericks. Always got that. George, three-pointer no good. Porzingis trying to pick up a rebound here. Tim Hardaway Jr. shots off the mark. Paul George with the rebound. 540 remaining. Finds Leonard. Two in a row. Beverly with the assist. Beverly is going to do his best to get you the ball. The Mavericks are two for four here on the line. This one happened here since season three. Remember this one. He's gonna bring in this is whatever happens when this comes out close, you may not find it. What you looking for? Paul George over right down to Leonard. We went to Zubox. Zubox finds Leonard. Leonard around it. Three in a row. He's like doing the same thing again. Same spot. I, I'm not sure what to say about it. Donkic dropping again. We're under five minutes left. Porzingis on the outside. Porzingis on the cover. Finds Kleba. Kleba against Morris Sr. Doncic outside. Six to shoot. Shot for uh, Zubac. I mean, Doncic is no good. A uh, fighting rebound here. Fighting again. Morris Sr. That's a great pass by Paul George. Officially got that one right on the line. I'm just looking for another one. Big going to a uh, small level. KB past the Kleba. Foul the Clippers. It will be Kawhi Leonard his first. They stop the clock at 4.14 left. Expecting to see the Clippers move on for the uh, second round to face against the Jazz, and that was real. All the way to game seven was a win. Kind of tough enough for them to just stop by. I mean, it's like, turned out that well. Kleba with two shots remaining. Here he goes. Come on, I want you to stop us. 
and that one falls. And that one falls in already. The LA Clippers are seemingly going way downtown. They love to hear that one. But there might be another solution here to give it back. So the Lakers are already gotten defeated by the Phoenix Suns. But this wasn't enough to just stop again and then go right through it. At this point, you might as well. At this point, they might be just try to give it up to its own timing, but they might not be enough for them to just go by. Zubox to Beverly. Right down to Zubox, over to Leonard. Steps up for a two. And off to a good start here. Leonard gets eight points. To 11 points. Oh, wow. Terrific opportunity here. KP against Zubox. Round the Zubox. Shock up two there. A little bit more to get Porzingis off of his sweet spot in his offensive game now. Finding a floppy zone. Looking over is George. George over to Leonard. Uh, oh, he made it! Benny Smith! But the first personal foul, 13 points for Leonard. The claw is hanging out. Clear out of the way, folks. That's what this sign is. Out of the way. Leonard is coming through. Expecting to see what's going to happen next. But, uh... Think about that 14 Maybe you should think about that one here, but this might be just Leonard tough for them to, to get by. On the cusp I might be saying, what do you there, need to know about? The MVP and well, changing his MVP, maybe his time is just not quite enough for him to get by. To try to do the same for the Clippers. Now that's getting it done and writing your own story. And a shot for Leonard's good. 14 points. Well, friendly rivals already. Maybe, maybe the Mavericks may have a lot of chance, but the Clippers thinking this is their only rival timing. That might be the only two that we just try to find out. The team three will not handle it up, but Cleveland will only take the dunk. Exposure and opportunity to be around one of the kids today growing up. 16 to 13 to score. And uh, Rondo goes over to Leonard. Well, now he finds the two. But he goes right back to Rondo. Back to Leonard. Only six to go. Rondo for two. Shots off, and Rondo gets it back. Leonard for three. And that is it. This turned out to be fantastic right now. Well done. And timeout on the first ball for Dallas. And unfortunately, the bad things happened. Hawks win the fourth game, 103 to 100. They just finally won the fourth game. And I chose them to stop at game six. Well, Let's see if you get this one right, if you have it all, to take it from here. If not, then one problem is there could be the only chance for them to get by. It may not be tough for them to just tune in. There may not be any choice out there that wants to stop in. It gets tough. Kind of confusing, isn't it? Well, now you don't know. Jackson checked in for the Clippers. Powell comes in for Przingis. Powell for Przingis. Melly in for Maxi Kleba. Oh, Maxi Kleba. And, so and here's uh, Luka Doncic Six point going eight. over three-pointer. Way off target here as Ricky Jackson picks up the first assist. First rebound. Double man trying to come back to recover. Rondo, but two. Shots good. Around the house. Rondo with the first assist. Like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Brunson against Rondo. Screen on Powell. We're reaching under two minutes here. Richardson outside for three. That will be off again. Over again. There. Finding over for two. Shots good. That's five right now. Leonard with another assist. 
Rondo only has two rebounds and one assist, but no scoring. Right now, there's no fans here for the Clippers. That's why they made out of cardboards already. They decided to use it. That was missing it off the target and once more. On the wing, Jackson. Finding over Rondo. Rondo passes to Batum. Oh, Batum. Oh, he just made it. I thought it would turn out to be early. <laughs> got lucky. You got lucky. Timeout on Dallas. One of three remaining. 27 to 13 to score. Just got the game's way better at that moment. Looks like they just got a little bit just quite tricky enough for them to just go by. I'm doing patient offense. Pick and rolls. One out. And then look at the transition. I'll see what else they got here. But there may not be any choice out there, but there isn't. <laughs> I don't know why they hear that one, but this wasn't just enough. Foul in the corner, covered by Ibaka. Now Rondo against Brunson. Over up and out of bounds. Last deflected on Rondo. It's Dallas Ball to keep it alive. Kind of like it's just not quite enough to just go right in and out. I don't want to expect it to see this one happening. And also probably the fan fight that happened already in Game 3 at Denver when uh, when the fan was trying to head up right across here at the ball arena. It happened already. He was he was kicked out, gotten beat up out of those. And that was the breaking news that happened here in Denver, Colorado. On a ball to punch it here and a nice pick up run for Nick Batum to just go right out of it. Ibaka making the three. He'll be his first bucket. Another assist would be Claw. The Leonard, two assists. 30 seconds. Again, Brunson will go take it from here. And how about the vision there from Doncic? Can make the easy pass and also the difficult. Difficult run here for Ron John Rondo, but he will pass to Ibaka. Going over is Leonard. Leonard's shot is good. 19 points on the board. 10 seconds left. Donkic against Leonard. Five, five seconds to shoot. Going back deep. It's not well enough, but that will leave it off to end the first quarter. 32 to 15. We'll be right back for the second quarter. And if you're just tuning in for the second period, we just got a good scoreboard here, 32 to 15. A lot of comfortable out there as Chuck might be flying his way to the second round. It might be letting his team to let him up to his second round already. A lot of momentum, so it's just like crazy. Quite enough to see him go by. I like when he just goes He's flying from all over the place. Now we have his Ibaka. Still there. Batu. Jackson. And then Maxi Kleba. And we got a foul on Ibaka. His first. All right now, two free throws coming to the free throw line will be Josh Richardson. With 6.47 remaining. On a contact of fouls out again. Not quite just enough to go right through it. Kind of tough enough for him to get by. Richardson shots good. 
Along with the new change already, we have this Brunson out and Hardaway Jr. checked in. Richardson moves to point guard and Patrick Beverly in for Rojan Rondo. In a preseason game, we play the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times and nobody scored and the fans started booing. And that's what I mean. This is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your AD. And thicker skin. Of right? course. Of course. You just happened already. Regular season, season three, then game one, then game three. And it looks like a three point bomb was Patrick Beverly. Three points. A lot of booing already. I don't know what they do this. Three pointer. Richardson, no good. Ibaka with the rebound, finding over is again. Jackson. And here he comes with two. Oh! Like pulling it over again. Ten points for Batum. Here's Richardson. Richardson right on the other hand. 37 to 17. And it looks like Reggie Jackson got a steal. Two on one. Senior. Norris Senior has got his second. Rajon Rondo with the assist. Four points. Richardson, you sit up already trying to go right to Carly Stein. Howell. Finding another different look already. Another section on our way to you. Screen on Powell. Another run. Powell will have to step up through. Of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And Beverly passing over to Batu. Oh, double man on him. Wow, nice cut move by Abaka. Probably five points were on the board. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Now with only five minutes, Mavericks with the timeout. Go to right now, trying 41 to 19 to score. Looks like the Clippers could be their chance to add up to the next round. It looks like there's just a lot more to get things by. I'm going to make a change up here. 2 3 zone. We'll just try to like keep it going out there. We'll just keep it crash up at the board. Um, series will be all right. Mass Philly series. I don't know why would I pick that one, but this is not what I was expecting to see. Los Angeles making some changes here. And Paul George is on the A lot of good time moving around here as Leva on the outside. Mining over is and it's in. Hardaway Jr. with the three-pointer, it's so good. A lot of trouble finding open three-pointers, but it's not going to be enough for them. Again, two bucks. Right over George, moving to Beverly. Oop, and Richardson picks up the foul. Patrick Beverly, for the entirety of his NBA career, is really going to embrace the role of being the villain. Has no problem with it whatsoever. That's good from Beverly. Second free throw is good for Beverly. One play out there, five points. We got Richardson again. Screen on KP. Finding outside is he three. Dallas looking for another uncomfortable run and it gets a little bit wacky. Nice pass by Moore Senior. Ball George with the assist. Looking back again. Beverly against Richardson. Porzingis on a carry. Again, Hardaway Jr. Shot gets a little bit away. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. 
Now, here's George. Zubox oh, trying to look over it again, but didn't find a rebound that he was looking for. And in the second quarter, a little under three. Second quarter, right around it. And nice rejection by Zubox. KP has recovered the ball as he goes back in. And hustling in transition to get the nice finish. And it's the Clippers ball. Clippers ball still up ahead. 45 to 21 on the run. Zubox got a first block of the game. Finding Beverly. And one. Cleave up with the first personal foul. And second team foul on Dallas. Stop the clock at 3.13 left. This is our way. We're going to head to the second round. Dean Smith is checked out with our Richardson, Brunson, and Donkey to are checked in. Beverly managing to make the shot. I think as a young player, one of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you, as you were just... Let's see what else they say. I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent an infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft. First on the floor, last to leave it throughout his professional career. And that's something he had in common with all of the truly great players who play the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And it looks like there looks like there's a no shot out there. I don't know what happened with that call. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. It seems like it was a no shot already. I'm not going to count it. For Patrick Beverly. Now this has got nothing but zeros from all. Looks like a loose ball foul turned out to be on Clippers already. Donkic hitting the two. Excellent body control. Donkic is a threat to pull up from anywhere. Rondo to George. George rolling over to Morris Senior. Morris Senior got double man on him. Rebound up and Porzingis with the steal. And here comes the fast break, finding over his Brunson. And same side one. KP with the assist. Now you can see the defense is so shifted over to where Kristaps Porzingis is that they lose track of the situation and he burns him with the pass. Leonard draws the double. Never draw here. Oh, Zubac's got to recover. Two minutes fall by the second quarter. Here comes Leonard. Oh, my goodness. Leonard got 21 points, 150 left to play here in the first half. And Marcus Morris has raised some eyebrows. Yep, steal. Oh, nice defensive here on George without the foul. Rondo with a clean look. Rondo, clean look with a three jumper. And I think that play sort of sums up. And it looks like somebody is cold. It's Tim Hardaway Jr. Both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively. I don't see anybody else trying to help it. Shot by Cleveland. Good. And the assist goes to Dodgers. And last season, yeah, the clears the curse. Is named one of the hottest on the trade market. Yeah, there's a lot George of finding Zubox. Gonna find a floppy a set. Ago, a lot of contenders looking to add him to the roster. Handshake deal with the Spurs. George, the way downtown. You got his first bucket here. Following along by Zubox. Under one minute left. Both of them will be. Here's way Jr. Did he have his shot? He's back. To see that. He was not cold anymore anyway, so he's down to 50. We're down to 50 seconds. It's so fun to watch him work in the half court. Five to watch. Oh, Brunson. Bring it up. Hardaway from outside. Hardaway Jr. gets a three-pointer. And two more three. And new new players just about to change it up. I've seen it going on. There might be a lot more to get things done. The claw misses the three. Well, after very 30 seconds to left in the game. Shots, he's definitely a little flicking, a little rivering, jubberish on the run. I don't know what they're going to be doing again. Looks like they're coming back in. Miner lost the ball. Brunson trying to go right after it, and now it's another layup drive for Brunson. Looks like his first half is close. And here's right now, Leonard 
Pass over to George with a three. High from the post, no good. 58 to 41 to score as the Clippers are still up ahead. We'll be seeing more full play and we'll find out next if there's any choice here. Here's the A. We'll see you guys later. Thanks, Kevin. Why you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Knocking out open shots, uh, I'm ball handling, making good decisions, off the pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great. And there wasn't too much. And there wasn't any too much traffic out of control right now. We start the second half, 58 to 41, and Kawhi Leonard. Well play out there. And Paul realizing that he has 21 points. One rebound, two assists. Well, well done. Pace with their own. Whereas if you want to push this button, you can just sub in for any player that you want. But the game's like starting right now, so uh, we'll get you out there pretty soon. For our next one. Yeah, right into the action. On the court for the Mavericks. And it looks like a bad D on Patrick Beverly. Hardaway Jr. He's just a three. Zubox pass to Beverly. Beverly pass over to Zubox. Zubox in a layup drive and it goes in. Now his first pointer for the game. For the Clippers. And right now it's only 6.20 left. Hardaway Jr. trying to find an open man out there. Now again, even now a shot. Another one to miss. Three for Vinny Smith. Three pointers off the mark. Zubox for Senior. Bastard for George. And wow! Leonard with the slam. It looks like, uh, I don't know who had that one. Beverly, nope. He only had one. Again, Vinny Smith. Drops it into a porridge. Uh, 50 Smith has got his first pocket here, too. As Tim Hardaway Jr. gets the assist. 540 left to go. And he finds Zubax. He wants to go for a risk. Beverly flies alone. Three pointer. Timeout. Dallas Mavericks. 533 left. 60, 65 to 43 is your score. I'm expecting this picture to happen here. A moment ago, also about uh, Zubax, I'm going to go ahead and get some talking to you instead of a final library present today. Three, two might be tricky, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I know, guys, but I was going to be able to play uh, basketball for the playoffs, but unfortunately, on that, it had rain all over on the court, but I'm going to tell you what, maybe this Thursday we might play for the for playoffs for the semifinals. And it looks like and maybe next week we will play for the championship game. The championship game I'm talking about. Finding over. Cousins got his first bucket. And then a championship game. However, if we win or we don't win, succeed. Don't worry, I'll get you back here soon. Don't be, uh, don't be wrapped out my, like me at that point. Nice pass by Melly. Only an impact on this run, which is tough. And the bad news for the Nets is that Irving and Harden are both out. They're trying to find a win here to face against the Bucks in game four, but it may not be enough for them to stop again. Beverly, does hands up. The shot is good. Three-pointer is right on the money. On the money line is what he really had. Uh, Luigi Fowl is going on Patrick Beverly. And now a new change here coming up will be Colley Stein checking in for Porzingis. Under, right now, 4.16 left to go. Trying to stick it over, Richardson 
Dockage. The it's a three. He got a bucket. That's nine Alex points for Rich, uh, Dockage. Assisted again by Richardson. Richardson. George. Finding over for two. Kind of tough, but a good, solid D on Holly Stein. Don gets a three-pointer. It will not go away, and it's only 340 left. Cousins again. Leonard outside. Finding back is George. George! Around again. The shot. Off again. Mavericks trail by 19. Another one here for Richardson. Screen again. I don't know who that is. And Richardson has gotten himself a good big bucket for you. Now, the only timeout to go here is uh, LAC 312 to go. Quite enough for them to just stick by. It's quite just obvious to get this one on the, on the timing. Made some new changes here. We're going to do Warriors on the offensive type sets. And we're trying to see who will take it from here. Take a look for Clippers. Now uh, Cousins is checked out as Serge uh, Docker checks in. Brunson, Dockage, Finney, Smith, and Melly are checked in already. The double pointer right here for Leonard is good. Kennard. Uh, Ibaka and Ron, version one, Rondo. Finding again, Richardson. He gets out of the way. Finding again, Raja and Rondo. Nobody around him. And a three-pointer for Leonard. 28 points, a lot of assists in this one. Richardson for three. That will go back in the other way. Richardson shooting it now from deep. Good touch on the long ranger. Now, here's for Jean Rondo. Rondo right over to Ibaka. Ibaka shot. Hey, makes it a tie. And one. Nuru with the first personal foul. I'm just a professional. They really think I need to be stepped up with a pro. I think they need so. They need it, so they have to. I say so. Two free throws coming up for Serge Baca. Alright, here's two shot. I mean one shot. One of the best free throw shooting big in the league. But that wasn't always the case for Ibaka. He has put in a ton of work. Now, here's Doncic. Doncic up. Nothing again. About, uh, two minutes left. 12 points for Ray Jr. Two rebounds. Kennard. First shot will go right into it as it turns out to be a miss. The club shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Brunson kicks to Finney Smith, drains it from beyond the arc. Finney Smith's got five points in the quarter. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing Whoops, to sorry. take the open three when he's got it. Clippers I was, uh, I was uh, just worried about that. Where, where am I going? It better not be happening in the last time. Oh, wow. Nice shot for two. He's got 13 points. Waiting for his teammate to break free and then finds it. Don't want to waste a five-second violation. Hardaway Jr. stepping at number three. Both teams are just running in the gap again. One ten left. Both of them looking towards the three-point line. Mm -hmm. and I like to see that. Especially yeah, that's true. The for two or the letter. Last minute left here in the third quarter. Stepping around. It's rebounded by Brunson. Brunson has got a line drive out there. Try to just go right through the layup to just finish it all. 
45 seconds left. Rondo kicks to the two. Two outside. Pass to Leonard. Pass to Leonard. Fires, Fires a three. three. Triple. That's good. 84 to 64. Again, Duncan fighting over Finney Smith. Smith double away, and Rondo gets the ball. 20 seconds left. Leonard drawing a double team here. And try to go over again. Six to go. Can I miss the shot? They will end it off the third quarter. 84 to 64 is the score. Clippers are trying to look for herself to win the second. Let's see what happens here after the fourth quarter. Time to check out these State Farmers since the beginning. Man, he's always been uh, the favorite. Uh, a lot of players out there. I'm not sure if you guys met this in it before, but you could take out Ibaka. Nice play out there. I mean, like, it's not that bad already. I see something going on right now. But it looks like the rain just might have keep going in the East Coast already. Not a great favor outside. We got one last quarter left here. Let's get going. Ibaka. Trying to give it a good look out there, but let's see what he can do. Trying to stop by. He ran out a steal. So yeah, for Luka Doncic to go right through it with a layup. It's all wrapping it up. Turnovers already two on Dallas, four on LA. For the Clippers, nine points for the uh, this part, six on the carry. Senior wrapping it over around eight points. Rondo's got six assists here tonight. Six assists for a rush on Rondo. He recognizes it and quickly takes it back. Well, I know they don't have Rondo out there protecting. And a three will be off the target. And here we go, fast break, but there will be mound up to be not a two on one opportunity. Rondo against Brunson. Subox cutting it in. Oh, he just got it in time. Got lucky, but two got it. 15 points for him. 75 on the field goals. Porzingis takes it get dunk. Always nice to see him, but he's never done anything like he did. Roshan Rondo passing over the zoo box. Pass back to Rondo. Someone else here. Ask the Zubox. Hits a shot. Nice pointer by Rajan Rondo. That'll be eight in a row for uh, for Narwhal on the Clippers. Bring it up for the Seven in a row, man. And we're about two minutes. We're about about Harvey Jr. here. Nice pass by Kleba. Under five minutes left. 90 to 70 to score. Roger Rondo doing it over. The foul will be taken up on Brunson. His first. He will set in the line and shoot two free throws. Under 449. First one falls for him. Roger Rondo takes the first one. Now, Vinny Smith will take. We'll take the cover by Jalen Brunson. Luka Dockage boosts his point guard. Warren just brought it in. George on the run of the senior Beverly. He has it in. Rondo has five points. 345 remaining. Doggett's trying to find a way for the path. Fourth quarter of Allowed again, Harvey Jr. Setting it up now, Finney Smith. It's a triple, it will be up for a three-pointer. Hardaway has got three assists. Hardaway, three assists at that point, 425 left. Right now, Beverly trying to look over to his active quarter, where he will go right over to Morris Sr. Again, PG-13! 
Trying to answer it back, but it will not count as a three pointer. Paul George only got three, but nothing on the board. Mavericks are still looking over it. Don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Rojan Rondo passing the zoo box. Double man. Two for Zubox. He will overshot it too much. 340 left. On number one. And one for Donkic. He goes down. Senior, more senior with the second personal. Stop the clock at 336 to go. Nice pass here with the fear by uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. Just got a little bit better. On this point, it may not be just a better idea to just like, keep it on over and over again. Now the Clippers needs to try to fight for it. He makes a shot. Called Doncic a dream prospect. Yeah, except Luca was big and mobile. And over again, Beverly. Can guard multiple positions. Has a Finds over Zubox. Stepping up. Shot fake. Back to Beverly. Under 330 left. Zubox finding George. George, more senior for three. And that ball sends them flying. Got number seven. That's number seven for Paul George. Let's see here. It looks like we're almost down to three minutes. If the Clippers win, they're moving on to take on against the Jazz. The layup is good for Dorian Finney-Smith. Field goals updated, 60 for Dallas and 67 for Clippers. George lost the ball. Over in the corner, don't you? Dockage for three. Flies a high, but it won't be enough to score again. Leading by 17. Clippers lead by 17. Now, again, for a senior. Over again, Leonard. And he shots good. It looks like he has 33 points. A killer. Now the timeouts on Dallas Mavericks, 221 left. We've got a lot of play action here. I think the New Browns player of the game is on uh, Kawhi Leonard, a claw. I think that could be him. Something out him, Marcus Cousins. I'll have back with the man of man. Now let's get the New Balance player of the game. And this one turns out to be Paul the Leonard. 33 points. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one man show, worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans. Better he played, the more this will turn out to be much better than ever before. Dynamic a duo, triple trios. There may not be any. Donkic hits that too. Flopping it in. Only 16 points. Eight in the paint. Only 209 left. Beverly finding a look. Boop. Leonard got it. We're reaching down to two minutes. Wow. Leonard just really could keep it up. And more senior with the assist. Leonard has got 35 points. Awesome run on the effort. On the remiss here for Dallas. 145. Cousins with the ball. Pass for Leonard. Back to Cousins. He has his well, first rebound already. Finding again George. Back to more senior. Finding George. George got a bucket. Five points. And the Clippers lead by 21. Clippers lead by 21, 101 to 80. The paint is impossible. About 90 seconds left. Turn out to be that long. But once we get to the second round, it won't take that long as much. We'll see. We'll see what happens if this is going to happen at that point. George over to Beverly. Finding over his senior. 
Nice dunk here. 13 points for Marcus Moore, senior. One of the key components to this. I think the key here might be uh, Patrick Beverly with three assists. We're down to one minute. Oh, and a three-pointer allows him for Tim Hardaway Jr. going deep. Gotta try to scramble the Jets right here. George has the ball. The crowd may be standing up, but I don't know if we see anything. At the top of the key, Cousins. Pass the more senior. Senior got a little meat. Got a little bit of piece of uh, block this out there. Doncic outside. Doncic outside. 30 seconds to left here in the regulation time. Doncic, everybody silent. Nice block by Cousins. 20 seconds left. On another angle, Cousins. Cousins to George, stepping up, and shots go in there. Seven points there. Last possession for the Mavericks. The huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players. Dawkins trying to find a way here. With that kind of energy and, get and he will have to stop at game six. So the Mavericks have just ended the line here. The Clippers win the series 105 to 83. No game seven for tonight. It will be the second round matchups Jazz versus Clippers and the other team, Suns versus Portland Trailblazers. Here's DA. Kevin, thank you. Why you all turned it on down the stretch? So, what was the difference? Uh, you started to play defense and execute on the offensive end, and we finally started to knock down shots. Well, that led to a win, man, and I appreciate your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, DA, thank you very much here. We all say thank you for watching for this part of a presentation of the NBA playoffs of Game 6, Clippers vs. Mavericks. So if you'd like to see some more, don't forget to check out the NBA and subscribe to it on YouTube. We'll see you guys in the second round of the NBA playoffs as we see the Sixers face up against the Knicks and Clippers versus the Jazz. Brooklyn Nets against the Bucks and the Suns versus the Trailblazers. Thank you for watching and peace out bitches for as a while as the NBA playoff dial. See you all guys in round two. Probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, y'all probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.